Hi, this is Claire and I'm just going to show you ways of arranging your found objects and the items from your challenge pack. So your challenge pack has arrived and this is sort of a sample challenge pack and you have catalogued that on OneNote and now I'm combining it with some found objects. So just come over here and have a look and see some of the things I have. So here I have my pliers. So I've got my round nose pliers and my needle nose pliers, my flat nose pliers and some wire cutters. I've collected some chain and I found this chain at home. And I have a catch that's come from some old bracelet that's broken. I've made some items from wire. I have a shell that came from my challenge pack and a few beads that came from my challenge pack catch. Some pieces of tubing that I found at home. And I've made some jump rings because I watched my jump ring instruction video and I've made a few of those. So I have some more pieces of wire which I may need and I've got that all arranged here. So come and have a look at my design. So come around here Travis so you can have a look at my design. So this is the first of my designs. Now some people have said can't I just make one design? Well I think you can use the items all of the same items in all your designs or you might like to change them. So at the moment I'm trying some hanging areas. I'm thinking of joining everything with these large rings. Some of them are recycled and some of them I've made and I have little bits and pieces from broken jewellery. The moment I have this, this piece of watch here and it's never really been used but the handle broke. And I've got a very old locket here which still works. The moment that's the way it stands but I'm thinking that maybe that watch is a bit heavy. It may be a bit heavy on a neck piece so maybe this might be my central design. Oh maybe I can actually add something else from my collection. Maybe a shell that I got in my challenge pack. And actually, now that I've done that, I kind of like that shell. I don't really like that so much anymore. So I might add some lighter objects to make it appear lighter. Even here, I could add some small beads. So I'm going to add some beads. I'm thinking I might have to join them together with some wire. And I've got three beads here. It's not very symmetrical. Maybe I could add a few more beads. Maybe the large one in the middle and one over here. And that looks a little bit more symmetrical to me. I have one, two, three, four, five here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe get rid of one of those. And as you find this one here, I might add one here to balance that. And as you're arranging things, you'll end up with different designs. Stop every now and then and photograph them so that you can remember what you've done. I might like to think about how I could hang these now. Oops, there goes. A, I might uh, want to put some, actually thread some tubing on the chain. So it looks um, another way rather than just having straight chain. Maybe I might remove something altogether and put some tubing at the front so it looks more balanced. So I could put some tubing here. And this one looks a bit weak. Maybe I'll remove that one and try some tubing here. At this point, I could photograph it again. I've got a completely new design now. Hmm. I kind of like that tubing, but I've got two pieces in the middle. Maybe I'll change that to one. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll remove this and put another piece of tubing. So each time I'm making a change and rearranging this, I'm photographing it. So I build up my designs and change it. So now I've got a completely different design 
to what I started with and I can't remember the original ones I started with. So I've got here a, um, a catch. I could use this catch and I would need a, a large ring to put that through. Maybe I don't need two rings there. Maybe I can use that large ring here to catch that. Oh, change my mind again. Maybe I can use a handmade catch, my handmade catch, which looks a lot more authentic. Here's the hook and here's the, the, uh, the ring that will slip over that hook. Now I'm thinking maybe I might put that back. I kind of like that, it balances the gold. I think that that watch is definitely out now. And I could string some plain rings over some of these. Um, the chain that's going to go this right through all this. So you can see each time I've changed this, I've made a slight alteration to my design and I've photographed it. And if you photograph it, you've got a record of your work and I'd like five different designs from you. So five different designs and then you draw your favourite design and really analyse how you are going to join everything together. So you're going to have to think about joining, threading, um, threading the wire through some of these beads and whether uh, the chain actually will fit through some of these pieces of tube. And that's the actual engineering part of your jewellery. So everyone, that's the way I want you to compose your designs and I will show you some other ways of joining beads in our next video. Thank you.